okay. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not in my usual environment. A couple of months ago, actually, well, I should say earlier this year, I posted a video called why I'm starting to document my life. And it started when an old childhood friend of mine reached out and said, can I send you a letter? A couple months later, we decided that we wanted to take a trip together and reconnect. And so that is exactly what I am doing this week. We're going to go on a couple of hikes and we're just going to spend time at this beautiful Airbnb that we wanted to rent out. Speaking of which... You want to be in it? You can say hi. Okay, a really quick backstory before you meet Inez. This may not seem like a big deal, but she was pretty much my first friend, like, ever. Yeah, yeah. We met in kindergarten and we lived a block away from each other, called each other on our house phones, took the bus to school together, and were pretty much inseparable. Until she moved away in sixth grade. And as I grew up and looked back, I always felt like that marked the end of my childhood. But through a series of events, life brought us back together again. And we are very much still the same couple of kids. You're gonna see my setup. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> this is Inez. It's so, going right now? Yeah. Okay. Record. <laughs> the weeks leading up to this trip have felt like the end of one chapter and the start of a next. Gingerbread. Cakes. Between getting a new job, going house hunting, and finally moving at the end of the month, the timing of everything has been almost coincidental. And despite the two of us spending years apart, the next week happened as if we had never missed a beat. days mostly consisted of exploring the area well it's snowing puzzling yes! wow! and eating which is pretty much my kind of heaven love it you possibly just found the best garlic bread ever it's so good in the past i would take these kinds of trips with no real plan in mind but for this, we just really wanted to make the most of it. And yes, funny enough, out of everything, the puzzle was the best idea we had. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! 
and I highly recommend it. Oh my god! And I can definitely say that putting in a little bit of extra effort to plan some activities was totally worth it, and it was nice to get into the holiday spirit. I think catching up with someone who knew you from your past definitely puts perspective on how much has actually changed in your life since then. I mean, we went from being kids to both now just two people trying to find our place in the world. I found that this trip also made me think of the tone that I want to set for the new year. What are the things that I want to make time for? What do I want to incorporate into my daily routine? And what experiences do I want to bring to life? Who am I right now and who do I want to be? Yeah, what are you manifesting? What are your intentions for next year? Really stepping into the person who I feel like I've kind of hidden away, you know? I know, and but that's why I feel like we're at such a point coming back to each other's lives because when we were children, like this is our true self. Like yeah. those were our yeah. happiest moments of mm -hmm. when we were just free. No expectations, yeah. no shame, no guilt. We were just happy without all of the layers on top of that. Mm -hmm. And now we're trying to find our true selves behind that. Yeah. Like that, get to the same place where we were 10, 15 years ago. But you always go back to like who you were as a kid, eventually. I know. I know. You know, just like an adult version of it. Always leads back to that, I feel. Yeah, and just being your true self. I think that's why we're talking about it now is because you're trying to rediscover who you are and what you are, what you're doing, and you want to be true to yourself. It's like at self. that stage where you're out of school, right? So that you're not surrounded by people who you need to impress or to yeah. fit in. And just go back to how you were when you were a kid, when you didn't care. Yeah. You know? But you also don't have a schedule. You don't have a routine. But you're trying to find that. Like, how do you be spontaneous, but also be, like, have something... Like a structure. Structure. Yeah. Like, how do you have both? Beats me. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's still a lot to figure out about ourselves and the world. But there is value in being intentional towards the life you want to live. Whether that's the things that you do for yourself, big or small, people you surround yourself with, or the experiences you seek out. After 15 years, you'd think that we'd be two completely different people. But it goes to show that the right people will always find a way back into your life. <laughs> it felt so good to reconnect with Inez, someone who's so connected to an important part of who I am and an era of my life that I've actually been revisiting lately, which will probably make more sense in the videos to come. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Shout out to, what is it? Princess Joy. Ace Hill? Ace Hill, it's Ace Hill, I think. My new favorite garlic bread in the world. Listen to the crunch. I'm gonna hate breaking this. We're gonna break it? How are we gonna take it home?